Hi, welcome friends. This online video is for plus two mathematics in CRT syllabus. We discuss application of derivatives, maximum and minimum of functions. Now, let us discuss a question from your text, exercise 6.5, question number 19. Show that of all the rectangles inscribed in a fixed circle, the square has the maximum area. We are given a circle of fixed radius. And if rectangles are inscribed in it, we have to show that Square has the maximum area. Let this be the circle. Let us consider a rectangle ABCD inscribed in the circle. Now, the diagonal AC will be the a diameter of the circle because this angle is 90 degree. The angle subtended by the diameter is 90 degree. Therefore, AC must become diameter of the circle and the Diameter is twice radius, 2R. Now let the length be X and the breadth Y. Now area of the rectangle, A is equal to XY. But We have to get that area function in a single variable. Let us take the angle between the diagonal and the base B, theta. Now, cos theta is equal to x by 2r implies x equals 2r cos theta and sin theta from the figure is y by 2r implies y can be accounted as 2r sin theta. Now if you take the area to be a function of theta then x is 2r cos theta and y is 2r sin theta which can be written as a theta equals 2r square into 2 cos theta sin theta which is 2 cos theta sin theta is sin 2 theta. Therefore, we can conclude area function a theta is equal to 2 r square sin 2 theta. For finding maximum or minimum, we have to get the first derivative. When the first derivative becomes 0, we get either a point of maximum 
or a point of minimum or sometimes a point of inflection. Anyway, we shall find a dash theta that is equal to 2 r square into derivative of sin 2 theta with respect to theta is cos 2 theta multiplied by 2. Now a dash theta becomes 4 r square cos 2 theta. When a dash theta equals 0, 4 r square cos 2 theta equals 0 implies cos 2 theta equals 0 that is that angle 2 theta must be pi by 2 implies theta equals pi by 4 for maximum or minimum the first derivative will be 0 first derivative will be 4 r square cos 2 theta now 4 r square cos 2 theta equals 0 dividing by 4 r square we will get cos 2 theta equals 0 therefore 2 theta must be pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 2 theta is pi by 2 therefore theta is equal to half of it that is pi by 4 now you have to show that the area is maximum for which at this particular value theta equals pi by 4 the second derivative must be negative we shall calculate a 2 dash theta a dash theta is 4 r square cos 2 theta therefore a 2 dash theta is equal to 4 r square which is a constant multiplied by the derivative of cos 2 theta it is minus sin 2 theta into 2 that is equal to negative 8 r square sin 2 theta now we shall calculate a 2 dash theta at theta equals pi by 4 when you give the value theta equals pi by 4 the answer becomes negative 8 r square sin pi by 2 which is equal to negative 8 r square because sin pi by 2 is 1 Here r is fixed and it is a positive number. Therefore, negative r square will be less than 0. What does it imply? At that particular value of theta equals pi by 4, second derivative is negative. It shows that at theta equals pi by 4, the area function is maximum. But what happens when theta equals pi by 4? When theta equals pi by 4, the rectangle takes the shape of a square. How? If this angle is pi by 4, automatically this will also be pi by 4. That means these two sides, x and y, will be of equal length. 
But when the tiger spy before the rectangle takes the shape of a square, therefore, answer you can write of all rectangles. inscribed in a fixed circle square has the maximum area I think you got the idea. We got an expression for area in trigonometric relations, a function of angle theta. And we took the first derivative, made it equal to zero, and find the value for of that particular angle for which first derivative becomes zero. Apply that value in the second derivative and got a result negative. That means at that particular angle theta equals pi b4, the area is maximum. When that angle becomes pi b4, the rectangle automatically takes the shape of a square. Right, thank you.